Hello learners, I would like to explain in this video about it's not only a word and non-verbal communication. In the paper of communication, I would like to open unit 2 in a video format as I have told you that uh, the unit 2 we will study in a video format. So let's begin the intro or the question how they are asking. Write the role of non-verbal communication and body language in presentation means that a presentation is an online format, right? But still we need some of the gesture and body position or the body language to give a final touches. 55% of the presentation thought are conveyed through a non-verbal communication and body language. Thus, non-verbal communication and body language play an important role in giving a presentation some idea to be used to important role in giving a presentation some idea to be used to improve presentation are listed below means still it's an old concept or old tradition just because we see that 55 percentage of a body language and a gesture and position they are looking for on that side means in the beginning of the era uh, in the modern time and began, uh, people still not giving that much weightage to the online mediums or the tools, uh, but they are using as a uh, slide uh, that are uh, side tools to use to make a uh, little bit technical use. They want to make it a uh, little bit improvement, but still they want that in a format of an, uh, a traditional way, but with a uh, new idea with a uh, little bit touches of the modern age just because that uh, see uh, like uh, in classroom you are teaching with a slide but still you are using a uh, whiteboard means the modern and uh, old tradition are getting together that they want to say so that's why they are writing 55 percentage weightage means that the face to face conversation is more important most important thing in presentation also these are the fundamental thing Use your voice effectively, body language, practice make perfect, goodbye to stress, manage the physical environment. The, the, now let's see one by one what are the things they are put in this format. Use your voice effectively, critical success, critical success factor. To have interested, interesting voice, presenter need to consider five areas to enhance a level of interest in the voice voice is the most important part friends like a, 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 a like a kumar vishwas and and, and that kind of personalities uh, that are great poets who, who uh, uh, recite the poems and uh, they are earning a good amounts why just because they are uh, uh, a voice quality and that uh, writing quality or uh, that uh, the style how they are uh, writing that uh, is quite good like uh, recently the greatest poet of modern age uh, Rahat Indori was dead pass away but Rahat Indori sahab's style was different uh, and that uh, the uh, narration is different and then the way he speak that is also a unique idea so the voice and the, the styles are more important to present something and the volume a presenter should always consider number of the audience and according to that he should speak range of this voice should speak a range of his voice should be according to that to know whether the presenter voice is uh, audible enough or not presenter should check with people at the back of the route and if presenter is uh, using microphone he should not have it too close to his mouth so uh, first that you have it's a depend on that uh, how much audience is there on the depend on the audience strength you have to decide that uh, how much voice you have to put it uh, the, the voice quality or the voice strength uh, how much you make uh, make louder voice a uh, medium range voice how, how is it work and one of the thing is the te uh, technical part is a microphone uh, some people uh, forget that that if you make microphone too close then it make a very louder noise but 
if you make a little bit space between microphone and your mouth then it's become crystal clear so these are the basic thing that we have to understand the second one a tempo very fast speaking need to after that tempo and slow down a little whereas speaking very fast can give an impression of aloneness and arrogance it is thus essential to vary the speed with which the speaker speaks skimming quickly over not so important topic but being slow on the important on sometime when you are using in a language of slowness it's not that you you don't know the language or uh, you have poor uh, language stick but sometime when you are using in a slow language it's a represent that you understand language very badly that's why you preferring in a slowness to make an a uh, uh, flow uh, like a uh, your flow must be like an ocean the the silent flow it's work very smoothly not your flow uh, means your flow not should be like in a river that uh, some time it's become faster then it become slower so there is not an stability in the river's flow just because they are crossing uh, thousands of uh, mountains and uh, land so there is a uh, some of the uh, stability is the problematic in the rivers but uh, the ocean are always stable so that they want to say and the second one about tone of your voice tone of the presenter always become a essential part of the presentation whether the presenter sh- sounds interested bored angry or nervous it is up to the presenter who has to choose tone according to mood of presentation a presentation should on the tone which express a professional expert ties a personal warm and positive outlook means in the first para what they want to say is uh, about the uh, always become an essential part of the presentation means that the uh, your uh, aggression or that the expression how you are putting uh, that is most important that uh, your uh, means angry nervous uh means how you are responding or reacting or that, or that the mood of your uh, in your mind it's a disturbing your presentation means outside and inside both should be equal if this balance is not there means you will fail For, as an a presenter you need that there is an stability between inside and outside otherwise what will happen you want to make an a joke but it become an anger it convert into an anger uh, you want to make people happy but they become an angry with you uh, you suddenly become an, uh, without any point you guys are starting fighting of the irrelevant argument so that, these are the things that uh, means what we need the inside and outside what the side we need a stability a presentation should on the tone which express a professional expri- expertise a personal warm and a positive outlook means that what you need uh, the purity or uh, positively you have to behave uh, you cannot respond with the negative connotation anyhow chunking a presenter always aim on a creating understanding and impact impact with e- his each a sentence for an a presenter cuts the sentence and analysis where to put stress and pushing when a pe- presenter chunk the sentence he emphasize or stress some word phrase so that audience understand on which word they should keep their attention uh, i would like to prefer here the one of the finest example Uh, from pk movie that uh, in that uh, police station uh, amir khan and uh, that uh, anushka sharma are meeting and that at that time amir, amir khan was explaining about that the sentence only that one sentence but the the, the he uh, speak that sentence in a four way with four expression four uh, explanation only that one sentence but the uh, he gives the four different meaning at the end he says that uh, we need to focus expression also and emotion also 
and the intention behind that what they actually want to say means the put a stress and posing means that we have to understand uh, at the same thing we have to remember in presentation that where that a speaker is a stressing and posing that is the most important thing articulation it means fluent uh, and clear in a speech a presenter should always be aware on a pronunciation of every single word and phrase a character a correct articulation effectively make a presenter easy to understand uh, somehow that the problem with the pronunciation uh, at that moment if you make a mistake that's a little bit look awkward but still we have to manage that uh, how we we can improve that a practice make perfect why just because we are a little bit nervous or our mind is a little bit diverted we are not uh, like 100% reading that's why our eyes are reading our lips are working but our mind is working on a some other side that's why we make a mistake uh, making a perfect pronunciation that is the my point of view that whenever i personally uh, forget some of the words and i'm not speak properly means uh, that my mind is working somewhere else that's why i uh, i make a mistake in a pronunciation but uh, uh, in 99 cases uh, that is the same thing that people are thinking about another thing that's why they make a mistake uh, they make a wrong pronunciation a body language a presenter not only should uh, concentrate on how to give a presentation but he uh, he also should understand what kind of body language he is using while presenting any topic expression of our your what you are saying effectively body language help a presenter to convey his message interestingly and effectively here are some of the tips that can help a presenter to improve his body language uh, most importantly the body language is more more important than your presentation why just because uh, like uh, we 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 follow some of the brands we follow the peoples and uh, like uh, if we refer an uh, example of kgf movie then the protagonist of that movie yes the long beard is a become a fa- fashion a trademark become the black bike which he used that nowadays it become a hallmark for an every youth that uh, people want to purchase that kind of bike why just because that body language that people are impressed with the styles that are how they are prepared so means body language matter a lot so same thing it uh, matter uh, when it comes about a presentation so here are some of the tips uh, that uh, can improve our body language also effective eye contact the most important thing when the presentation start in the first 5 second the presenter should can his can, uh, scan his audience to establish eye contact as a uh, doing that audience member will feel that a presenter is talking to them with all his atten- attentiveness means when you make an eye contact with a single person single by single means uh, it is look like that uh, you are quite interested with them and uh, you are making a little bit context uh, making uh, culturally if there is a gap but uh, you are trying to cover up that gap by making a first impression with an eye contact so that is the most important part uh, but unfortunately we we are not able to do that in a particular way why just because of the nervousness so sometime what we do we have see in a unit 1 that uh, we will find some positive person in uh, audience and uh, we focus on them side so that is the also quite okay but uh, this is the right process to make a contact with uh, every single person when a presentation is going on presenter should not turn his back on the audience instead of that he should apply t t t uh t triple t stand for a different t's uh, uh triple t also stand in kilari sat such as a movie i hope so you guys have an idea that uh, the role played by uh, mithun chakravarty there is this t or represent i hope so that was the uh, tricky joke 
that you guys get so first t is a touch second one turns a third one talk so first says move ahead in the direction of the slide to indicate important information as in our old tradition method what we are doing that uh, if uh, we want to explain something on a board so we will show the arrow on that side and students are accepting that okay you are looking for at this point at the same way it, uh, the medium will change uh, first was that was a blackboard now it become a slides so that is a simple thing that you have to remember a turn turn your head to look directly at the audience means that the first look on the, the slide side and then you will look to the audience and talk talk about the information and make a proper way to understand that use of a smile smile is, is the language understood by all the people around the world and smile is the single most understanding and experience as a smile never hurts if presenter should always give a smile to put his audience in a comfort zone uh like in a, if we see himalaya it gives a peace at the same moment uh when you see ocean it gives a strength every uh, every single thing every natural thing has their meaning messages at the same way that smile gives a strength or the comfortness you will find comfortness that's why the smile is a most important part of your presentation tips for using a gesture before giving the presentation uh, presenter should uh, record and should not doubt uh, doubt his gesture to know which are effective and effective presenter should always use gesture which comes naturally as the audience will come to know unnatural gestures means the audience can audience can identify or rectify that you are making someone's copy or mimic so as a presenter you should follow your own style your own, you have to obey to your own natural so if you follow your nature then your body language will respond with in a same way so it going to be in a quite easier but if you trying to make make copy of someone's then it will become a little bit uh, fishy so that's not the good thing to do your gesture should always go with what you are speaking always in a short it should add an effect to what you are saying and should support it so that is also uh, a good thing that if you are saying yes so your thumb will be upside if you say no or uh, the negative side if you want to say no, it must be your thumb going to down side if you are you, if you are saying no but your thumbs going to upside so means it's a, not a, the good con- connection between your a uh, body language and you are speaking so that should be a uh, connect stand and deliver oh a well research re a well uh, sorry a well rehearsed and experienced uh, presenter will stand to ta- uh, tell with while giving presentation he always carry dynamic movement but uh, remember never overdo it as too much movement irritate audience means uh, first you have to make an a rehearsal make an experience uh, as an a presenter will stand and a tall tall will giving a talk with a giving a, a presentation he always carry dynamic movement but uh, when you make it's a too much practices then it become an irritating so sometime you have to control your position uh, you have to control your body language also that is also a quite important thing a uh, consider culture all always do a research on uh, your audience to find out a correct facial expir- expression gesture and movement which the audience expect of a per- sorry for any disturbance uh, let continue a uh, consider culture always always do a research on your audience to find out correct facial expression gesture and movement which the audience expect to a particular audience means uh, like uh, my particularly that my proper students are from girls so if i will prefer an example of uh, cosmetics 
some of the street foods like pani puris uh, that will relate with them perfectly if i uh, I come with a uh, new idea about uh, fashion designing or the uh, new trademark of fashions. You guys quite easily accept that. So these are the things uh, that are uh, considered a culture that can connect with easily with my audience. Uh, practice make up perfect. Uh, practice always establish or uh, rather presentation and uh, therefore a presenter should practice by standing in front of mirror before giving final presentation on the practice will allow your your to draw drone final presentation not down the point which you are going to present in the first three minute of your presentation plan gesture and a moment to create a minimum impact practice practice in form of the mirror until feels natural uh, sometimes that uh, people say that uh, how you can improve your English uh, or uh, uh, if you want to make a good speaker how to do so best activity is not to find with a dial make a dialogue delivery with others the best friend become your mirror so first what you do you have to start uh, speaking uh, you have to try to talk with mirror with your reflection uh, and then you have to first improve a uh, that how, how your body was responding when you are explaining anything or uh, that how your hands your face was responding that you have to first recognize then you have to see how your lips are moving when you pronounce something so that, that is the way so mirror is a quite uh, a good friend if you want to improve your uh, linguistic style uh, so that's why people say that uh, if you want to make a practice then prefer and uh, Mirror. If you see Bollywood movies, you will find so many people that the protagonists of that uh, movies are working with their mirror, and some of the good scenes they have created. So mirror is a quite good as a if you want to make a practice. The goodbye to stress. Get excited. It always happen with a presenter that he gets stressed before the presentation but he should take it uh, positively it is a natural thing and happens with almost all the people it is positive reaction by the body getting stress is something called a uh, getting excited getting stress means your body is uh, preparing your physical and mentally to perform well means that uh, sometime uh, it's uh, like your body is responding also uh, like uh, uh, in our school times we have uh, why was in primary section that uh, you have to appear in a internal examination after that uh, there is a why was so every student are frustrated that uh, how to answer what to answer uh, it will always be that uh, teachers are there and they will ask some of the basic question but still that students are hesitating to answer them just why why just because they are they are that uh, you, you, that body are also responding uh, a little bit get their body stress or like something excited but uh, they have no word to explain uh, properly so these are the mistake in a school time we make so that is the thing about uh, get excited the get real a presenter should be aware of his style or technique for a presentation if he has basic basic knowledge of english force for force of her personalities so that is a quite important thing the english and the over power come on the language or the linguistic that is the most important thing that we have to know uh, some of the things about uh, get the stress release a general clarity of communication expert expertise then he don't need any unnatural means all he need to do to be himself good in control first what you have to control control your message there are three essential elements of the presentation object content right english vocabulary three these three thing if you know that your object your content and 
the english vocabulary then you will succeed if you miss any of the thing uh, uh, quite okay with vocabulary but uh, at least you should know your object and your content if you know this two thing still you can survive and the last thing if a presenter has the aspect even he forgets what he planned he can continue his presentation with the help of this three element yeah uh, sometime when we want to make presentation we are going with this way that uh, we will prefer uh, different styles uh, that uh, in intro you will say this one in the middle of the presentation you will prefer this kind of example or you will ask questions and when that comes conclusion you will uh, make a good greeting but unfortunately if a circumstances is it not in your favor you will forget some some of, some of the part so at that moment what is the important thing your object then it comes is content and the vocabulary if you know this thing you will manage and control your message don't di- directly says that uh, that is the uh, motive or aim you have to conduct no it should be released at the end of the session that should be the quite important thing that we have to remember the two two more things which we have to control control your body first smile and relate uh, re- relate to give positive effect don't show your nervousness yes that is a from as an a presenter that if you want to control your uh, of, uh, nervousness how you do this is way you, you give in a big smile to control uh like in a, in a particularly in the three idiot and uh, that amir khan was uh, smiling in the first lecture and the professor asking why you are smiling he says that uh, my dream was com- coming true but the professor gives a, with the negative connotations so uh, sometime your smile become a uh, little bit problematic why just because he, uh, uh, properly amir khan not able to control his body language that's why he feel the uh, felt that problems control your mind always have positive thought about yourself your performance and to f- and for overall presentation don't allow one single negative idea to get into your mind goodbye to stress means the as an a presenter you have to be positive there is no chance for any negativity if you borrow any of the single concept idea in your mind that you cannot do then you will fail you have to remember capital i i can do only i can do it it's my job i can uh, i have to do it so the remember capital i then and then you can work properly managing the physical environment that's the most important thing just because it's in a time of the modern time was just arriving people are not quite aware about a uh, 100% using a technology as an a study but they are using as an a tool to teach so there is a different meaning when they are using a presentation presenter primary job is not only prepare his presentation but he also should check all the aspect related to presentation which include manage of physical environment means the outside environment of your audience the comfortness of their stability and or your stability is also an important part of that before giving the presentation should give information about the size of a room you also should ensure that the some extra seats are available he should check the size of the screen which all audience can see he should have some backup disc available and handouts with in case on the day presentation electricity goes out then he can ca- carry his presentation forward with the help of a handouts means what they want to say in the second para the most important thing the, the room size and everything uh, so means that uh, you have to see the sitting arrangement properly is it done or not how you, uh, the, your guest uh, where they will sit uh, what what are the screens management is there how is the electricity and if electricity is not there then you will prefer with the handout means you have to ready with the all plan 
plan A is not ready then you have to go with the plan B if plan B is not working then you have to go with the plan C means that you have to ready with the uh, all kind of you know, a mindset that if my presentation is not working then I will go with a different way to explain my idea to my audience so that is the way uh, the show must be gone that you, you have to remember to manage physical and environmental presenter can take help of his friend to handle any outside problem yes uh, most importantly when you are presenting something at the time you have to manage something from a uh, guest side from an uh, audience side that uh, who will manage your friends or may, that ma uh, means that the uh, who are that uh, the organizers they have to manage checking all the equipment available in the room will help a presenter to run the presentation smoothly without obstacles uh, yeah that uh, before you go start presenting something it is most important thing that you have to check everything single thing you have to check it uh, that there is not a chance of a mistake if you do this way practice then you will never fail but uh, always ready within a two three plans if one plan will fail then go within a second one if second one will fail then go within a third one so that is the way they have to say is to manage an outside environment these are the things that you have to remember for an outside management thank you so first uh, uh, topic of, of uh, this unit we are we have ended and uh, upcoming uh, video series will we will continue and that is the way we will end unit 2 thanks for listening see you tomorrow